vision control now. Getting Nidalee in the face, potentially, of the Evelyn. Shutting her down. Either that or Condi is going to be the one to run wild. But either way, I get the vibe. Actionable, but also <laughs> effective for a Nidalee in terms of scaling. Yeah, it definitely is. Condi looking for yet another roam down here. He dashes in. They're going to turn on the Ella once again. He's low. There's the death sentence, but it's his own death. He goes down. Condi. But he has not been anywhere near as effective in making ganks as it looks like there's a dive in the mid lane. Used to be the target. Doesn't have plans. He still has his flash, however. No, he doesn't, in fact. He oh. goes low, and Flandre teleports in to get the kill. Dade gets some revenge for it. Dashes <laughs> back <laughs> under the turret. And Crystal and Ella look to head to the top. They might Ooh, catch Looper here. Fun. The play misses. Ignite is even dropped. They want this kill on the Looper. The box goes down. There's the death sentence. They pull it in. Are they going to give it to Crystal? They're trying to. Oh, they do. Crystal gets the kill. Very selfless play there from Snake, giving the kill to the important target. Does he land on the trap? Oh, man. Andre <laughs> dashes right over a trap. He's taking so much CC right now. Even uh, paths around the turret. Direwolf camp. You take my wolves, I'll take yours. An eye for an eye. Yeah. A wolf for a wolf. Whoa. Double flash comes out as Love CD tries to get the hook. There's the death charge onto Ella. Ace in the hole being dropped. They're doing everything they can. Three ultimates are burnt. Nice. No, wait. Dada got it. Thought I got the buff. Oh, Looper coming oh. in from the flank from the far side. He didn't have to teleport in. He just walked in. Oh, he gets ya. destroyed by all the damage from Snake. Beast is forced to flash away. Flandre teleports to join in. Oh. He finds SMLZ on the back side. You in the front line. That's not where that victor should be. Conde goes into the back. Dade. He picks up now one, now two kills as Dade does so much damage. Dade coming up. Dade, who does enormous damage, and we saw you. Yes, he does have excellent damage, but outside of that, oh. his really only follow-up is going to be Sivir. Dade looks like he's caught out here. Still alive for now, but he finally goes down. You with the timely laser brings him low. Now they just have to kill SMLZ, and they'll have removed the primary damage threat. Flandre going so aggressive right here. Doesn't even care about the Tier 2 turret, but he needs to be careful. The hook finds him. He's locked down. Bits of nothing as Snake take it down. The now they're onto the inhibitor. Be. Yeah, they're burning through this next health. They succeed. Condi for the flank finds Beast, who instantly flashes away, and the fight is split into two halves as Flandre goes deep, and Condé tries to do the same, but is unsuccessful as it looks like Crystal's the one who's doing, oh. dealing the most damage. You goes so aggressive on the Dade. Triple kill now, and that's going to be a huge knockback with the Emperor's Divide, but that's an ace for Snake. They've still got the Baron buff, and despite the fact that they've got two members locked into the wall, they're going to get onto the Nexus turrets and end game number one. They're going to be able to come out ahead in game number one after a very slow and methodical closing.